Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Ganesh Veerabhadraya. I am a consultant neurosurgeon, brain, spine and neuroendovascular. Today we will know about intracranial aneurysms. What is an intracranial aneurysm? Aneurysm is a ballooning out of weakened wall of the vessel which usually occurs in the bifurcation of the vessels in the base of the brain. These vessels can be compared to our PVC pipe at our house. Like water, blood will be flowing through these uh, vessels freely without any interruption. Aneurysm can be compared to weakened wall of the tire which is seen in this picture. If further increasing in the air, this causes pressure build up in the tire and tire will bust. Why aneurysms are dangerous? Aneurysms are dangerous if untreated, its rupture can cause major damage to the brain and due to sudden increasing in the intracranial pressure because of the hemorrhage. What are the signs of aneurysm? Aneurysm signs will be depending upon the location and size, whether it is ruptured or unruptured. This is a vessel, this unruptured aneurysm. This is a neck of the aneurysm. A weak wall will be here. If aneurysm ruptures, it will rupture and force the blood into the brain and increases the intracranial pressure. Coming to the symptoms of aneurysm are like drooping of the eyelid, sudden onset of severe headache, also known as thunderclap headache, neck stiffness, vomiting in ruptured aneurysms, chronic headaches, giddiness, seizures, unconsciousness and even sudden deaths are also we have seen. What are the risk factors for aneurysm? Most commonly intracranial aneurysms are seen in Japanese and people living in Finland. In India also it is increasing. People who are having history of connective tissue disorders and polycystic kidney disease, intracranial aneurysms can be seen. How intracranial aneurysms are diagnosed? Initially, CT scan brain and CT angiogram brain. This is CT scan brain plane which is showing normal parenchyma which can also shows sub any subarachnoid hemorrhage, blood clots, intraventricular bleeds. This is a CT angiogram brain which is showing major brain vessels and its branches, internal carotid artery, middle cerebral artery, anterior cerebral artery, basilar artery, vertebral arteries. These are the major vessels which is very important means CT angiogram is very important to diagnose aneurysms in the brain. And MRI, MRI brain also can reveal the intracranial aneurysms. Digital Substraction Angiogram, DSA, it is a gold standard for intracranial aneurysms. Gold standard means simply great or excellent, a thing superior quality which serves as a point of reference against which other things of its may be compared. This is recent DSA of one of our patient. Once DSA is done, it will help us to plan the treatment. Treatment of aneurysm. Main goal to treat the aneurysm is to prevent its rupture and sealing of ruptured aneurysm, which will prevent the blood flow into the aneurysm. Treatment 
depends on the configuration and location of aneurysm in the brain, craniotomy and clipping of the aneurysm. Craniotomy and clipping of the aneurysm will be done by us by removing a small portion of bone in the skull and we will apply the small clip into the neck of the aneurysm. So, further bleeding into the aneurysm, further blood flow into the aneurysm will be stopped. So, rupture will be prevented. Endovascular coiling. It is a minimally invasive procedure done in cath lab and fluoroscopy. Here, soft platinum coils are used to fill the aneurysm through catheters and micro wires. Most commonly, access is obtained by puncturing the blood vessel in the groin. Once coiling of the aneurysm is done, clot will be formed inside the aneurysm and which blood will, uh, blood will not enter into the aneurysm. So, rupture of the aneurysm will be prevented. Flow diverters. Flow diverters are the advanced minimally invasive procedure done in cath lab like endovascular coiling. Here, micro catheters and guide wires are used to access the aneurysm. Here, metallic mesh is placed across the aneurysm and clot will be formed and within the aneurysm and aneurysm will be sealed to prevent the rupture of aneurysm. What is the deadliest complication of aneurysm? It is vasospasm. Vasospasm means suddenly, uh, spontaneously in, in the period of 1 to 21 days of rupture of the aneurysm, the vessels will become small and blood supply to the brain will be stopped. So, it can, it can also cause major stroke because of the occlusion of the vessels. If any further clarifications, information regarding the aneurysm, it is uh, symptoms, signs, diagnosis, management, other doubts, you are welcome to write to us and contact the number which is given or you can visit to our website and you can write the email. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.